Well, Mikey, today we are going to the most terrible cave in our village. There are very dangerous spiders there, so be careful, otherwise it may end badly. JJ, we just went outside and I'm already very scared. Maybe instead of going to the cave, we'd better sit at home, watch a movie and go to bed? Do not be afraid, Mikey. Everything will be fine, subscribers. And would you go to such a cave with us? If so, write in the comments about it, like, and write comments. JJ, I'm very afraid of spiders, but I trust you and will follow you so that I don't get bitten by any spider. And now I remember the moment from the Spider-Man movie, where Peter Parker was bitten by a spider and he got superpowers. Be careful, Mikey. For now, all these spiders are sleeping, but at any moment they can wake up, which means that it will be very bad for us, and I really don't want this to happen to us. Look, JJ, at the end there's the largest similar spider, but it seems to me that this is not a spider, but a chest because they sleep lying down with their legs relaxed, and this one just stands there and does not even want to bite us. Really, Mikey, let me try to open it. Oh, and inside we are waiting for a whole chest of cakes. And if it is a trap, well, though, hardly. This is very good, JJ, because I haven't eaten cakes for a very long time after I switched to a healthy diet. But now I don't eat so many cakes at a time, but in about a month. I am very happy for you, Mikey, that you have finally begun to think about your health, because this is a very important thing in our life and should not be violated. What were you staring at JJ when you were talking? Oh no, it's a spider, oh no, oh no, oh no, I don't want to die. Mikey, be calm, he hasn't bitten us yet and everything can end well. How can I be calm when a spider is jumping in front of my face that can kill me? <laughs> How bad for Mikey, but I feel completely different as if I've become much stronger and I have new abilities. I feel bad too, JJ. I told you not to go to that cave, but you didn't listen to me. It feels like I really became the second Spider-Man. I have some strange feeling of lightness, which I didn't have before. I have exactly the same feeling of JJ. I don't know if it's good or bad. Look, Mikey, I think I've got super speed. Wow, how cool is that? I hope she stays with me forever. I seem to have super speed too. Wow, this is really very cool, but how long will we have it? Wow! As you began to jump high, it means that in addition to super speed, we also have a super jump. This is just an ideal set for future superheroes! Whoa! You can still climb walls, JJ! This is very cool, but it would be better if we had these abilities just for the sake of it and not because of a spider bite. I'll check it again, otherwise it all seemed to us, but no, I really can crawl on the walls. This is so cool. JJ, how do you like the idea that we will become superheroes and save people all over the world and become very famous? This is a great idea by Mikey, but in order to save people, we must learn all our abilities and become very responsible and courageous. I think we make great superheroes, but there is truth in what you say. I think we have a few hours to learn all our abilities. Well, let's start doing it then, not just jumping on trees. Look, JJ, how I can fly, I think it's very cool. I'm very glad that now you and I have such super abilities, because with them we can save the lives of villagers in our village and around the world. I think that we will become famous very quickly if we help others a lot, but most important is not glory and not money and help people around. I completely agree with you, Mikey, but I think that these abilities we have for a while, or maybe for life, as it was with Peter Parker, when I watched the movie Spider-Man, I was very happy that a man like him had such abilities, and now we have such abilities, but for us, I'm honestly more happy. You and I are sorely lacking superhero costumes like Spider-Man. Then we would definitely fit the character, but I think even without them, we can save lives just fine. I wonder if there are the same people with the same abilities in other worlds. Then we would meet them and there would be no more evil on our planet. Everyone would live in peace and harmony. So, Mikey, I propose to find some villains in our village and save the world from them. I think it will be very interesting and informative because the villains will understand that it's better to live honestly. Hi, guys. I've seen what you can do. And I think that the new future heroes of our village lack superhero costumes. And that's half the image of a superhero. If you want such costumes, then you can follow me. Then I can give you great costumes, and they will perfectly describe your abilities. And they will also stand out so that the residents will remember what their heroes look like they will try to emulate. We agree! Mikey, let's go get him! I can't wait to see our new costumes and imagine if they were like Spider-Man! This will be very cool, and the villagers will really remember us then. I can already imagine how we save the village from a huge zombie. And after we defeat him, there will be cheerful crowds of villagers standing by our house who will thank us. JJ, those really are Spider-Man costumes, yippee! Now we'll be remembered for sure. 
but no. Remember, JJ, first we have to save the world, and then think about the glory. Even if we save the world, we can be forgotten, and not to be forgotten. We will every day to monitor the order in our world and the planet, because the police is not always cope. Wear those suits, guys. Take care of them, and don't forget about me. Yoo-hoo, Mikey. I think we look even cooler now, but the most important thing is to live up to expectations about us, because otherwise we will be bad heroes and can't save the world, and that would be very sad. Do you see this, JJ? Our time has come, we will go to save our village as soon as possible, otherwise our entire village will consist only of zombies and not of villagers, and this will be as bad as possible. And the worst thing is that we will no longer be trusted. But in life you cannot return three things. This is love, respect, trust, and if we do not help them, then we will lose all these three words, and this will be very bad. There seems to be a lot of them. Mikey, please help me, I can't do it alone. I can't imagine how Peter Parker coped alone against hundreds of opponents. There are less than a hundred of these zombies, and I alone can hardly cope. But after a while, we will accumulate experience and will not be worse, and maybe even be better than Peter Parker. JJ, use your super ability already. Otherwise, these zombies will eat me, and I'm a little afraid of them, despite the fact that we are superheroes. Okay, Mikey, lure them all closer to the tree, and then I will definitely use my super ability because it can be used once a day. Are you ready, Mikey? Well, here we go, get it. It was very cool, JJ, but for some reason your voice became like that of Batman, and you and I are two Spider-Men, but it's okay. This does not prevent the fact that this technique was very cool. Do you hear that Mikey sound too? It seems that this is the person who gave us the costumes. What a pity that we did not have time to save him, but we must avenge him. And this means that now there will be a very serious battle between us and this monster. I hope you are ready for this, JJ. This will be our first exploit. Well, Mikey, I'm ready for the fight, and I see that you are also ready for this battle. So let's defeat this monster as soon as possible and avenge the person who gave us these suits. We will never forget him and will remember him always. Come on, JJ. While all the people in our village were fighting, we will win this monster and honor our unfortunately already former friend. But we will really remember him forever because he was very kind and caring and was ready to help everyone. We must take everything from him because such people are very important. And the saddest thing is that there are very few such people. So we defeated him. Hooray! Well, Mikey, here's the crowd that is proud of us, but do not forget about that dresser. He will forever remain in my heart because he was a very kind and good person. But this applause is not only for us, but also for him. Dear subscribers, like, write comments, and see you soon. Bye!